Elizabeth Libba Cotton was an American blues and folk musician, singer and songwriter, a self-tough left-handed guitarist. Cotton developed her own original style. She played a guitar strong for a right-handed player, but played it upside down, as she was left-handed. This position meant that she would play the bass lines with her fingers and the melody with her thumb. By the age of age, she was playing songs. By her early teens, she was writing her own songs, one of which, Freight Train, became one of her most recognized. She wrote the song in remembrance of nearby train that she called here from her childhood home. She married at age 17 and soon after gave up playing the guitar for 25 years, except for occasional church performances. She did not begin performing publicly and recording until she was in her 60s. She was discovered by the folk singing Seeger family while she was working for them as a housekeeper. In the later half of the 1950s, Mike Seeger began making bedroom reel-to-reel -reel recordings of Cotton songs in her house. These recordings later became the album Folk Songs and Instrumentals with Guitar, which was released by Folk Waste Records. In the early 1960s, Cotton went on to play concerts with some of the big names in the Belgian folk revival using profits from her touring, record releases and awards given to her for her own contributions to folk arts, Cotton was able to move with her daughter and grandchildren from Washington DC and buy a house in Syracuse, New York. She was also able to continue touring and releasing records well into her 80s. In 1984, she won the Grammy Award for Best Ethnic or Traditional Recording for the album Elizabeth Cotton Live, re released by Orholy Records. When accepting the award in Los Angeles, her comment was, Thank you, I only wish I had my guitar so I could play a song for you all. In 1989, Cotton was one of 75 influential African-American women included in the photo documentary I Dream a World. Cotton died in June 1987 at Cross Irving Hospital in Syracuse, New York, at the age of 94. I was just glad to get the Grammy. I didn't know what the thing was. It's a honor what I loved.